What's up everybody? Aaron with Quality Service Today Plumbing again. I'm going to show you how to rebuild a Delta 13 1400 series tub shower valve. Um, you would do this if you have dripping out of the tub spout or it might be leaking out of the handle. Um, I've already got the water turned off so we'll go ahead and bleed the water down Turn it on, bleed the pressure off. Pop this out of the head. Sometimes you'll have uh, Allen screws in the side. This one is just a, it's got a Phillips head up in there. Take this handle off. This, this shower actually has a diverter valve on it. If it has a temperature control separate from the handle, that I believe is going to be an 1800 series valve. That takes a lot different cartridge, um, way more expensive cartridge, but it's pretty well the same thing. You remove the clip off the front, take the handle off, and after that it's very similar. So we're going to take that off there. Make sure all our water is drained down, pressure is drained off. And remove that. This ring here, um, sometimes doesn't come off. It's seized on there. You can do one or two things. You can take the trim plate off and you can cut it. Um, that's a worst case scenario. You'll have to get another ring. Uh, the best thing to do because using channel locks, Nipex even, when you grab this ring, if the installer didn't grease the threads or something and you grip it, you actually squeeze it tighter to the threads. So we're going to use a we're going to use a uh, a strap wrench. I like the rigids the best. I just didn't have it with me. Um, what this does is it keeps you from putting pressure. It keeps you from squeezing it. It puts even pressure. The other thing you can use is a two inch fern co. A big rubber fern co coupling goes on there, tightens a stainless steel hose clamp and that allows you to grip it and unscrew. So you get that ring off of there, that nut. You're gonna take this, sometimes you gotta weasel. Sometimes these things don't like to come out. But you're going to remove this. Depending on the age, you got two different ones. A lot of times it's a blue body or it's the gray body. If you get aftermarket ones, they look different. You've got to hold them up next to each other. One is actually longer than the other one. This is the older style. This is the newer style. So this one's actually going to be this one. Use a genuine Delta part. probably not going to be able to see this but there's little nicks here um, this even goes for a new install you just first put a valve in it says colder and it says hotter this way um, so we're gonna pull out on this and turn it all the way hot so that way this gets up to the right temperature if you leave it set where it's set out of the box it'll only get up to about 90 degrees um, you'll be getting called back to to fix it um, so we're actually, we're actually going to put a little grease on here. I'm going to grease these threads. Um, we're going to pop it back in. Just 
screw this back on there and this only goes on hand tight that's not sealing anything they're o-ring seal it you don't have to wrench down on that people wrench down on it you can't get it back off pop this back in here put your hand handle back on Screw the nut, screw the screw back in there. It's pretty cut and dry, pretty simple. Um, like I said, a lot of them have set screws. If the set screw is corroded, a lot of times you have to cut the handle off. Um, when you go to doing that and you have to chase down the right handle and stuff like that, sometimes it's a lot better off to go ahead and change the whole valve. I'll go kick the water back on now and we'll test it. If you break the trim ring, if you pull this off, I highly recommend you caulk it when you put it back on because a lot of times there's a seal back there that breaks. So go ahead and run you a little bit of caulk around it, clean it up, and you'll be good to go. So we're going to get our bleed our air out of our line. Make sure that's good to go. This up here is actually a diverter valve. Um, it takes a lot different cartridge. It's uh, not any of these that I showed a video of. They have a three-way and a six-way. That's uh, that's if they have body sprays. Definitely something another video would be good for.